And how about this? An onside kick to start the game. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Now there's two sides to every coin. You come on the road, you get the onside kick to start the game. What a boost, but you don't get it. And now your back's against the wall a little bit. You're exactly right. You nailed it perfectly. And so many ways to go at it when you're on the road. You think to yourself, well, if we start on defense, we blitz them early, try and create a big play. If we start on offense, we throw the big pass downfield. In this case, they said, forget all of that. Let's do it on special teams and try and catch them off guard with an onside kick unsuccessfully. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. On the option, it's Jackson. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. They go play action with Jackson. Man open, it's Moss complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. At the 27 yard line. From the gun, it's Jackson. Right side caught by Jackson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That's another Baltimore first down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. The first carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Made at the 25-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First down, Lawrence. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. The throw over the middle, taken in. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. On second down and four. Jackson flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. A loss of two brings up second and... And now Jackson will look to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A.J. Klein. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. On third down, this is Jackson. He will push his way down to about the 14. And three yards on the carry there as his defense holds strong and takes it to fourth and goal. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. Because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Packers take over first and 10 
at their own 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. Now Corey Dillon, the four-time Pro Bowler. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Down by Ray Lewis. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic. Blitz coming, and down he goes. A rookie QB struggling, gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and... Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Give the sack to Lawrence Taylor. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. The fourth down pass. So first and 10 now from the 30. The Ravens take over first and 10 at the 30-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to... And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore. 